Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Terra Spatial. Today, I will show you how to create a topographic position index in ArcGIS. So let's get started. So go to the section called Add. So this is Add Data. Add section, Add Data. So this is my DIM file. So let me add this. So this is our DIM file. So now, so let's get started. So go to the search option. So this is our search option. So enter as focal statistics. So click search. So click the focal statistics spatial analysis tool. So the focal statistics calculate each input cell location, a statistics of value within a specified neighbor, neighborhood around it. So in the focal statistics, let me input. So in focal statistics, so let input raster, let us input our dem file into our input raster. So this is our dem file, click the dem file. So wait for some time. So after that, make sure you select the neighborhood option as rectangle. So we have to select as a rectangle. Now let us select. So let's select our height, the neighborhood settings. Let me select as 33 and with us height as 33 and with us 33. So choose the statistic type as mean. So make sure that you choose a statistic star statistics type as a mean. So after that, click OK. So before let me choose an output location. So So let me save as a focal statistics or a focal stat. So now save. So click OK. So the value has come. This is a focal statistic uh, raster. So let us turn off uh, the dim. So let me turn off this dim layer. So this is our focal statistic raster. So let's go to uh, another option call. Go to the search option and click as minus. So search minus. So we have a minus spatial analysis tool. So this is our tool and this, this tool is subtracts the value of the second input raster from the value of the first input raster on a cell by cell basis. So let me in the input raster constant value one, let me input my dim file. So this is my dim file and uh, input raster or the const constant value two. Now input your focal statistic raster. So this is a focal statistic raster. Click. So now let us save our output location. So let me save as TPI. TPI represents topographic position index. So let me save this. So let me click OK. So this is our topographic position index raster. So let us go to the options call. So let me zoom this. So now let me go to this turn off other layers. Uh, let me right click the TPI raster, go to the properties and go to the classified section and choose your uh, color ramp. In this case, I will choose this color ramp 
apply click ok so this is about topographic position index raster so the topographic position index is an algorithm increasingly being used in used to measure the topographic slope positions and to automate a landform classifications so that uh, tpa evaluates the elevation of every cell in the dem to the mean elevation of a specified vicinity around that cell so the mean elevation is subtracted from the elevation value at the center so the area near suppose the area near the peak of the hill exhibits a high index value that is this one the blue color indicates if it is uh, that is uh, the area near the peak of the hills exhibit if it is uh, near the peak of the hill it exhibits a high index value that is indicated in the blue color and suppose uh, if the areas are uh, foot of the hills if, uh, if it is uh, area it is in uh, foot of the hill shows a, a low index value and suppose that is in red color and uh, in case if it is a flat ground flat ground surface or a mid slopey region it shows a index value near zero so areas with the low tpi value where uh, indicates the uh, that is so the area with the low index value indicates uh, that is in uh, near the peak of the hill and suppose if it is in an area given a high index value that is indicated in the red color here indicated red color that indicates the that is it uh, it is closer to a uh, mid slopey region mid slopey region or near the foot of the hills so in case if it is a uh, value is near zero it indicates the flat uh, ground surface so we can classify it uh, right taking the properties we can classify it into three classes so let me three uh, make it as a three classes now apply and click ok so in this case we can uh, show that red is of uh, high index value and uh, that is a blue it is of uh, indicated in the high index value and red in this red indicating the uh, low index value so let me show you here so the blue color indicates the peak region that is close the areas are close to the uh, peak uh, peaks uh, peak regions and uh, red indicates the that is near the foot of the hills and if it is a value near zero or close to zero it indicates the it is a flat area which is indicated here the green color so it is a flat area so in this way we can uh, classified according to its different elevations using this uh, TPI that is topographic position index so suppose if you are working in a uh, groundwater potential zones uh, you can get a high value for this green areas and uh, you will give a very low value for blue region because the water percolates more in the flat terrain compared to the hilly terrains so in this way we can able to uh, find out the topographic position index so in our next video i will show you how to automate your work using a model builder for this topographic position index so please subscribe to our channel terra spatial for more contents